Hey Creative Design here coming out with another quick tutorial. A tutorial gonna be on how to basically add some cool materials onto your objects in Cinema 4D. So as you can see right here on this project, um I have some nice bumps and some nice uh, on a nice material, but there is a couple of mistakes in here, like that line right there. Don't worry guys, I'll be teaching you guys how to fix everything and make it look seamless so yeah I'm just going to create a new material um, I'm going on to color go to texture load image and just load in a good texture you have um, just comment below if you want me to send um down compress all mines and put it into a download links for you guys to download just comment below and just press no and just copy this channel copy channel and then go on to bump and just paste that channel close it out and I'm just going to delete this material off there and just drag this material on it zoom in My computer is kind of slow now, maybe because I'm recording or maybe because I'm rendering something. Yeah, I'm rendering something right now. So I'll just zoom in right here and just render that out. As you can see, um, we're basically done. We have the we have the bumps, the nice texture. I'm gonna zoom in so you can guys can see it properly. Alright, there you go. Now, to to remove that line that I was talking about earlier in this tutorial, you there is a couple of ways you can remove it. One is change the projection. I depending on what the shape is, you should click it accordingly. For most cubic objects, use cubic. For most spherical use spherical and just so on and so forth um, best one for text now is flat or cubic or maybe in frontal for text so I'm just going to use cubic for this one and render that out and once this is all rendered as you can see that line is gone but this won't always work you can also change the offset to get rid of the line like see the lines right there you can just change the offset to get rid of it you can also change the V offset as well so move it up and down and you can also make the text the texture either bigger or smaller for example I'm making it bigger right now using the length view and length V and the offset U offset V is to change it. U is horizontal, V is vertical. Now the tiles U and tiles V are basically also the size, but f for that you need to reduce the number to make the texture bigger. Really don't understand that concept, but I usually use length instead of tiles. Now, um, as you can see, the line can still be there, and the best way that almost always works it's just click seamless and once you render it out as you can see the line is no longer there and everything just flows in together so yeah that's it guys um, you can do this with a bunch of other um, materials and a bunch of other objects so peace